we're going to thank my sponsor, my exclusive sponsor for 2015 is CPR Cell Phone Repair, uh, located in Round Rock, Texas. Uh, their website is cellphonerepair.com. They do everything from cracked screens to phones that don't work. You probably dropped some in the water. You probably uh, got some in the mud. But they do they do all sorts of Samsung pads, iPads, iPhones, you name it. If you have a problem with your phone or with your iPad or with your Samsung pad, just take it over to Cell Phone Repair. That's CPR Cell Phone Repair at cellphonerepair.com. How do you like that, Artie? Huh? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Quickie. Hey, listen, uh, since you're a uh, first-time guest on this show, uh, just to alert folks really quickly, what happens is uh, when this show's over, I'm going to convert it uh, over so it can be put up on YouTube, and then I'm going to issue you, uh, Artie, your own uh, custom player uh, so that you can share this around to all your social sites and use it in your newsletters so it'll be good infomercial for you, okay? Okay, that sounds great, yeah. Appreciate well, tell us a little bit about you. Are you an Austin guy? Uh, no, I grew up on the East Coast and uh, lived different places along the East Coast and uh, lived in a lot of major cities. And I like to say Austin is the uh, smallest city I've ever lived in. I think I've Probably lived in, so. um, yeah, because I've lived in Hartford, Connecticut, Boston, L.A., Phoenix. And You've been in all the Boston. fun places. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. I love it. Well, tonight we're going to talk with Artie about uh, alternative funding, and I guess, Artie, that's a good place to start on this podcast. Uh, what is alternative funding? So alternative funding is different funding programs that the banks don't have. Matter of fact, I work with all the major multinational banks, community banks, and regional banks, and we fund corporations by their assets. So it's different. You know, most banks want to fund you by your income and by your profit level, and they want to go from today backward. We actually fund corporations by today forward, and what assets do they have that we can put a lien on, use as collateral to get you a working capital line of credit? Fantastic. So that's the brief definition of that. So what is when you call yourself an asset-based lender, what, what does that mean? So when you think of corporations, you think of their assets, and what would that be? What assets do corporations have? So it would be their inventory, be their existing equipment, their real estate, their invoices, their purchase orders, their contracts, um, things like that. So that's what we use as collateral to get people the funding uh, short-term anywhere from, I like to say, 10 days to three years. So, you know, we do wow. short-term bridge funding. You know, mostly co companies have been working capital cash flow problems. Right. And so you can look at a lot of alternatives inside that company as far as assets, right, to try to get them the funding, correct? Right. Yeah. And we also do unsecured funding. Not only we uh, are asset-based lending, but we do have a line of unsecured. And we, this is all private uh, funds, you know, private equity money. So it's sure. a little more flexible and creative than the conventional institutional funding sources. Okay. And so... I guess that leads to a question, Artie, of uh, the type of companies uh, do you help? I mean, uh, can you give us an example, not necessarily the name of a company, but type of company you'd be working with? Sure, sure, no problem. I always like to say when you come to an asset-based lender or alternative funding lender like myself, uh, like Artex Funding, Usually, you're either young and growing, and you can't qualify for bank funding. You're probably about 16 months old. Your business is starting to take off. You've done a lot of business. You probably, you know, when you're that young, you have a bunch of invoices out there waiting to get paid, but you can't even make payroll on Friday. Uh, so then we might, one of the programs we have is we'll purchase your invoices and advance you 80% of that invoice so you can then make payroll on Friday. So it's the young, growing company. The other the is one that, this, what, yeah. I'm sorry. No, I was going to say the one that's bumping into a wall that's growing, that's proving that they're going to be a legitimate business, but they're just at that bubble point, right? Exactly. Right. Yep. I mean, business so you now... Do, I call it the hockey stick. You know what a hockey stick looks? It goes long, goes long, oh, yeah. and it just goes up in a hockey stick curve. You know, sure. right at that knee of the curve. Every company goes through it at some time in their adolescence, you know. 
they have right. cash flow problems. You know, who doesn't know out in the audience, who doesn't know any companies that have cash flow problems, right? Exactly. And you had mentioned a little bit that you even guys will help by uh, pre-factoring some invoices they might have out that they're trying to collect on, correct? Yeah, we will uh, advance, We will purchase those invoices and advance you 80% of the invoices. We also do purchase orders. So that means if you have a um, contract to manufacture something with a third-party contract manufacturer and the manufacturer won't offer you terms, you know, they want the full price of the uh, sure. manufacturing um, you know, up front, we'll actually pay the factory for you. So we'll pay the factory so they can manufacture, and we'll actually give you terms where the factory won't. And we do anywhere from, you know, we do domestic manufacturing, India, out of India or out of China. We'll p do all that purchase order, or, you know, pay all those factories for you. So you've got international connections on this around the world then? We do, yes. Yeah, I like to say my uh, sweet spot in uh, this alternative funding, um, asset-based lending, is greater Texas, but we've done deals all over the, uh, North America, actually, Canada and uh, even um, Mexico. And probably what a lot of people are going to want to know, Artie, is the process uh, for getting funding uh, from your company. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about that process? Sure. I always like to say it's a lot less painful than uh, you know <laughs> other funding sources because I give you a two-page application and maybe about eight to ten documents I need. You know, usually you have to qualify the business owner, you know, what his credit is like, what personal financial statement like, and then your business has to qualify. Um, you know, what's the P&L look like, the balance sheet look like. Now, we take that in consideration, but we don't lean on that as heavily as uh, the banks might. We really look at what the quality of your assets are. What type of equipment do you have? Do you have good enough manufacturing equipment They where we wouldn't mind purchasing that equipment, leasing it back to you to give you cash flow, and then you have to buy it back? You know, that's one of the programs is a buy, lease back, sell back of equipment. And, um, you know, we have different inventory we can loan again. So, yeah, uh, it's very, really fairly easy. As I like to say, it's a two-page application and, like, eight pieces of paper. That's awesome. And, and kind of repeat back a little bit, whereas a bank might rely solely on your, your financial statement, you guys do take a hard look at that, but uh, it's not the only criteria. Exactly. A lot of times I ask you, have you been to the bank already? Yes. Have you been turned down by a bank? Yes. Well, yes. send me the package you sent to the bank. I need all that. Now, I don't underwrite that as heavily on that. I really underwrite what, uh, you know, what's that purchase order with? Who, who gave you that order? Or uh, your real estate. What's the quality of your real estate? Your inventory. Is it free and clear? Is it a good uh, commodity type inventory that we could uh, sell in case? you go bust or you know something happens to your corporation so really it's um, you know the quality of uh, real estate inventory equipment purchase orders invoices contracts uh, even lawsuits if you have a lawsuit against your corporation we'll fund that corporation the lawsuit and we'll even advance you if you've settled that lawsuit we do that so you know as you can tell it's all alternative type business to business funding. We do no pre-revenue companies. We only fund post-revenue. That means you have to be a young company. You have to be, you know, a lot of times you're young and growing, as I mentioned. So Right. And so uh, to take a break between the questions here, and I'm going to have a link on your custom player, but Artie, tell us real quick, uh, where can they find you on the web? Uh, my website is www artexfunding.com. That's A-R-T-E-X funding.com. And I have a whole website on there. And it's nice. I've seen it. You guys will like it. Please go visit it. We'll put a link on the custom player for them. Okay, Artie, so we continue through the questions. Um, generally, I know that there's different circumstances for different types of helping a company, but how long would you say it takes to get a company funded once you have everything you need? You know, it's funny, I get to ask that every day, you know, and I always Your number say, one question. <laughs> right, how fast can I get funding, you know? And I always like right. to say, well, I'm not the, um, I'm not the hold-up, Mr. Business Owner, you are. 
So I need a, you know this application filled out. I need eight pieces of documents, and as fast as you can get that to me, I could probably get you funding five to seven working days. So you know five wow. to seven working days, we can get you financed. And we've done it as quick as you know, every once in a while you'll get a guy on Monday that needs to make payroll by Friday. Uh, we've sure. done that too. We don't like to do that, but in an emergency, we have done that. You know, so I'd say five to seven working days. It's you. Know, that's the beauty of it. It's fairly quick, you know, this funding. Right. Now, you kind of uh, gave us a little hint what you require, uh, but let's go into deeper detail on the paperwork. Uh, okay. What do they need to, yeah, what do they need to qualify for the loan? Okay. You usually need a copy of your driver's license because we have to prove it's you and you're a real right. person. Uh, we need a personal financial statement, so we have to see what your net worth is. Uh, sometimes we need a... Um, personal tax return and that's it pretty much on the personal side on the business side at times we'll need six months of bank statements we'll need a profit and loss statement for year to date and last year you need okay. um, balance sheet year to date and last year um, if you have inventory copy of your inventory list equipment copy of your equipment list with your serial numbers uh, real estate and an appraisal of your properties, maybe pictures of your property, a survey on your property, um, you know, various things like that. Each It depends on what asset you want me to use as collateral for your loan sure. is, you know, that's where the paperwork differs, you know, for what program I bring you into. Yeah, and you need to see that because obviously you've got to have something to back up your 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 funding, right? Right. right. So I get that. All right. And a lot of times yes. I'll come down and do a personal site inspection too, and match up the serial numbers on your equipment, and just you know corroborate everything that you say you you know you say and I, it, and I, it is. Right, and I guess the unsecured side is the invoices and purchase orders, right? You actually have something that they're billing out that you know cash is coming in. That's what right, you mean by exactly. unsecured, right? Yeah, okay. and we'll advance you. We, on like invoice funding, we advance you 80% on an invoice. We hold back the remaining 20% in an escrow reserve account. So that sure. means when that invoice is then paid to us, um, we give you back your 20% that we held in that escrow account, but we take our fees out of there. That way we guarantee to get paid. Invoice funding runs about 3% a month, and usually an invoice is due in 30 or 60 days, so it might run 3 to 6% uh, you know, to advance you. Usually you, you build that in into your um, product pricing anyway. Okay, so already a, a company has cash flow problems. And my little insert in your question is, uh, how do you check if it's good cash flow problems or bad cash flow problems? Yeah, we like to say uh, we'll fund you if you have a one-to-one -one debt service coverage ratio. So as long okay. as you're not losing any money. Also, if you have u a unique position in the marketplace, and we can see you're growing, plus uh, your book shows you have incoming um, contracts and purchase orders, and it looks like you're getting some traction. We can usually tell, you know, by talking to you and seeing what the market, and see where you're positioned in the market and how you're growing, how you're marketing your company. Um, you know, it's funny. Hurdy, we only have a 1% loan loss. You know, even though this is a little riskier funding, I like to say, uh, right. you know, 1% of these loans go bad. And that's really about it. It's amazing there's such a low loan loss on this. And what do you attribute that to, Artie? What do you think? Uh, we do a due diligence. We do our underwriting, and we make sure we collateralize good assets. So, you know, you, okay. again, if you go away or something happens to you, we still collect our money because we own that asset that we've loaned you against. So we and just because, do, and because, Yeah. Well, no, I was going to say, and because that owner or that company has investment in their collateral, obviously they want to make good on the on whatever you board them, correct? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, you know, they have skin right. in the game. They don't want to lose any of that. Now, I know the difference, but I'm going to ask this. Is cash flow and working capital the same thing? 
It is, yes. We like, you know, this thrown around a lot. You have working capital issues or you have cash flow issues. That's our sweet spot. You know, companies that are – the other one I didn't mention is you can be an older established company and all of a sudden you have cash flow problems or working capital issues. And we'll fund those too. We fund those type of corporations. You might need a bridge for a little while to get you over the hump. Remember, the whole goal is to get you back to the bank. The bank probably initiated referred you to me or them to me and um, we'd like to bridge you you know and then get you back to the bank because they're a little less expensive money yeah and that reminds me of a question that, that I don't see on here and that is generally uh, what is your typical uh, referral uh, from is it from banks what what when yeah do I, I have end um, up contacting you I have some great referral partners so the most refer anyone out there that might be a banker or might be a business broker, or a business attorney, or a marketing consultant, or a business consultant. Really, anyone that deals with the small to medium businesses, anyone that knows these businesses have uh, cash flow problems, and um, you'll need a term loan or a line of credit, and they can't seem to find one or get one, that's the people that we uh, like to work with. And so who decides ultimately if the company gets funding? Who is the, who is the Well, I do the first round of underwriting, and then the actually the funding group will then do a deeper dive, deeper, uh, more intense due diligence, and they they decide. You know, the people who actually write the check will right. decide who funds the corporation. I'm the intermediary, so I I uh, bring it to this vid. I have about 12 different groups now that I work with that get corporations funded due to different um, situations they might be in. Sure, sure. And I know that um, there's obviously that goes with this already uh, rates, right? I'm sure you could ask that question, maybe your number two question, right? After how can I get my funding? What's right. my rate? How is that determined, right? Right. You know, uh, each one of those um, programs, be it inventory, purchase order, invoices, contracts, uh, real estate, they all have different rates, different rate levels. Uh, you know, like invoice funding or purchase order funding might run 3% a month because you can use that for a month or two. Um, Inventory might be a little bit more. That's like 4% a month for us to fund off your free and clear inventory. Uh, sure. real, real estate's private money, so that's anywhere from 10% to 15% for a bridge loan or a hard money loan on um, a real estate deal. 15, maybe 17% different times. You know, I'm doing one now. It's uh, five points up front and 12%. We're going to bridge them for a while. But he already has a great um, exit strategy. He already knows he's going to sell the property after he can get hold of it and control of it. He already um, got a buyer for it, but he has to control it, buy it, purchase it, uh, sure. fund it before he can make his profit. So he's going to make so much profit, he don't care that it's 17% loan for six months, you know? Right. Makes, but that's how you lie, so that's half of that, you know. It's an that makes total that sense, percent. too. Yeah. So uh, minimum loans and maximum loan amounts, is it mm. just determined on the company? Minimum, yeah, minimum loan I'd like to see is about 50000 Maximum loan, $50 million. Yeah, just depends on what what kind of company it is and what they're doing. Correct. Yeah. Right. Right. They yeah. Because this collateral. money, <laughs> right? Because this money um, is, you know, as I probably mentioned earlier, is private funds, also hedge funds, insurance companies, pension funds, wealthy individual collection funds. You know, various Wall Street money and private money. So there's a lot of those type of uh, funds out there to help um, companies in need of uh, working capital funding. Which is awesome. And, and, and uh, another personal question that's not on your list is how long you've been doing this? Because I know from meeting and sitting down with you, you've been doing this a long time, correct? Yeah, yeah I've been doing this about 10 years now. Yeah, I met a gentleman out of Houston, a very wealthy individual, and he approached me one day that he was uh, buying invoices from corporations that were waiting to get paid and uh, couldn't wait any longer. And uh, he hired me to sell his money for him, basically. And wow. I've been doing it about ten years now. Yeah, it's amazing how long, how time flies. 
And I bet you that uh, I know we talked about a little bit earlier that uh, you know the certain kind of companies you work with, but you really like to contact people, call them on the phone, get in the door, and sit down with them. Correct? You work a lot on referral. Correct? Yeah, these days it's all referral. I probably get a referral or two a day because I'm so well known and. I do a lot of networking. I do a lot of speaking around town. So, yeah, I do. It's all now referral. You know, in the old days, I cold called uh, all the bankers and all the business attorneys. But these days, you know, I'm happily, yes, really luckily. Yeah, somebody to give you a name, right? Right, yeah. What does it hurt? I mean, that's, when we met, that's what we did. We exchanged those referrals that way. So that's cool. Right. So yeah. my yep. final question on the podcast. This is a perfect time. We've gotten a lot of information and we want to keep these short for our, our listeners. You know how they are. Uh, instant yep. gratification, right? How do people get a hold of you? What's the best way for them to find you? Okay, so let me give you my phone number first of all. Artie all right. Fern at Artex Funding is 512-261-0024. That's number one. Number two, my email is arty, A-R-T-I-E, at artexfunding.com, and artex is A-R-T-E-X. Um, and the third way is through the website, www.artexfunding.com, and there's a contact sheet on that uh, link on that website, and you know any of those three ways, the phone, the email, or the website. And I'll be happy, if you'd like me to, to make sure that all three of those get listed on your custom player. Uh, Great. We'll Thanks. Deliver, I'll, de I'll deliver you tomorrow a custom orange and black player, if that's okay. Uh, right. You'll have links on there to your website, phone call, contact. I'll even put a billboard on there to, to link to certain parts of your site. So um, any final thoughts? Artie, what did we miss? Anything you want to share? No, but thanks. You know, uh, as I would like to say, you know, everyone knows some company that has cash flow or working capital problems, maybe can't get bank funding. Um, come to me. See if I can help them. I can't guarantee you help. I can't promise you I can help. But I have a lot of different programs that the other people might not have or don't have. And I have a great success rate because I can't help you by um, loaning against one asset. I could probably loan against another asset. And I have a higher uh, probability of getting you some funding, financing, term loan, you know, than maybe other people out there. Super. Well, listen, um, I know it's been quick. You've been on about 20 to 25 minutes, which is awesome. Uh, we got a lot of great information from you, and, um, you know, I, I, think it's, I think people are going to be amazed that there's these opportunities for this kind of alternative funding out there. So I want to thank you for being a guest tonight, Artie. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. It was great. I enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Thanks very much. And and have a happy fourth, and I'll see you next week, right? Yes. All right, buddy. Have a great night. Thanks, Hardy. Appreciate it. All right. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.